What's going on, micro pigs? Time for another quick tip. It's been a rough couple of days of hardcore off-roading with some of the local um, clubs around the area of Central Florida. Uh, I had the privilege of riding with a couple of guys uh, that were part of a Mitsubishi Montero club, and also yesterday rode with a dude uh, with an Isuzu Trooper. And then, of course, we saw a lot of variety when we were out on the trail. Uh, lots and lots of Toyotas uh, yesterday. But in either case, the bottom line is that if you do any type of extreme off-roading, mud gets everywhere on these things. So this is just a quick tip of what I think you guys ought to consider when it is time to clean your ride after a big one. Um, that mud, we have a lot of clay. The mud and the clay just manages to get everywhere. Every nook and cranny you can imagine is loaded with mud. Now, I guess I'm not going to get too far off my initial thought, but before I move to that, understand too, when you do a lot of deep stuff and the mud, the water gets high as the headlights or maybe up onto the top of the hood here, consider your radiator. Consider the fact that either your AC condenser up front, right in here, or right behind it, the radiator itself is likely going to have a lot of mud and clay jammed in it. Well, you certainly don't want to restrict your cooling system, so make sure you pop that hood and make sure you are certain that there is just nothing clogging up your radiator. So really, to get right to the point of this video, I want to just show you a real quick little thing that I would recommend when it's time to clean. Now, number one, if you look at the frame. You got a hole right here. Uh, it's glare. There's a hole right here. Then you've got cross framing in the form of tubes right here. These run all the way across the vehicle from one side to the other. These little holes really are just holes that go all the way along this main frame rail. This is where your hose comes in. Um, you want to take that thing and you want to shoot it inside of those holes. Another thing, right in here, I don't know if you can see this. See this little hole in the body? This normally has a rubber plug. I took mine out. It's out for a reason. You might say, why remove the plug? Mud and water will get in there. I promise you mud and water is in there anyway. So having that plug or not having the plug is really not going to save the day take the plug out. Reason is so that you can blast your hose inside of there. And what'll happen, oh, let's get under here, is there's lots of little spots where the body is pressed together. These little guys right here, you can see there's a little thing right here, this channel. Well, mud will be inside of all of that. If you spray inside that body, you'll see it flushing muddy water out of all these little holes in there. You don't want that mud to stay inside your body because the mud is like a sponge. It holds water and it stays there. So ultimately, it's going to rust out the body of your vehicle prematurely or it's going to rust out the frame. So here's one extra little thing that I also recommend. Now you follow the body right here and it comes down to this pinch weld. Well, those little shoots I showed you on the other side are here. Now what I did, drill a hole here, move somewhere to the middle, drill a hole here. Now I drilled a 3 8 inch hole three-eighths of an inch and then down here at the back yet another hole when you take that hose and you shoot it inside of this little hole I promise you you're going to see a bunch of mud come out of there you really don't want that mud staying inside this hollow cavity of your body just gonna rust out your ride so real quick going to demonstrate if I can do this one-handed. All right. Hose. Sprayer nozzle. Put it right in that hole. 
and give it a give it a spray in there just like that. Now look. Now mine's already running pretty clear because I've already rinsed the crap out of it. Did I even get that angle right? Let's try it one more time. There it is. You want to make sure that all of those holes that you drilled and those little factory reliefs under there are flowing free. Don't let that mud stay in there. Then, you take these cross tubes I showed you, you shoot those all the way through. If mud is sitting inside there, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna stay a lot wetter in there than, than it would be if you were to spray it out with a hose. This water will dry off, evaporate pretty darn quick, but if there's wet mud in there, it stays wet a lot longer. So that's it, flush them out. And here, hose inside of that hole, like that. And watch to see that you are blowing all of the mud and water out of your frame. So that's the whole point of today's video, is to just understand that you don't wanna leave that mud inside those little nooks and crannies. Get them blown out, let that sucker dry from having clean water in it rather than sitting there drying over the course of a month with wet mud inside of it. It'll save it. Micro Pig out, hope you enjoyed the quick tip. Oh, by the way, like and subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that. It's right down below. It's real easy to do. You see the little button with the little thumbs up? Just, just push that real quick. Um, and that subscribe thing, subscribe. There's got to be something you've seen on this channel that's of value. We'll see you on the next one.